Hi, in this video we'll show the batch food report. In the report viewer, click on the batch food report link and over on the right you'll see a number of parameters. So first we're going to choose a pet, we'll choose spot and here, down here you'll see uh, daily calories to feed spot needs 1074 calories per day if you were to feed that that amount so um, we'll choose a recipe beef and liver with heart and here we can choose the the target this is the amount in the batch we want to make and you can either do this by calories or grams kilograms ounces or pounds so uh, first I'm just going to do this by calories and um, in order to feed, let's say, a week's amount, we'd have to multiply this figure by 7. So I've already done this here. Uh, this figure times 7 is 7,517.23. So let's switch this to 7,517.23. So what we're trying to do here is make, we're going to feed this amount per day. That's what spot needs. And we want to create a batch for seven days. So this it will effectively create a batch for seven days. Um, how should I feed my pet? We're just going to leave this alone. And we'll leave this alone, the rec recommended allowance. Of course, you could choose minimum requirement, but we'll just leave it there. So click Submit. And here's our report. So again, we're, we're doing this for seven days. So let's, let's just hide this for a second and enlarge it. And here's your report. Um, over on the right, you've got the original recipe. And these are the amounts. They're translated into grams and the, and the calories for each ingredient. And here, this whole section here is, your, is, is what we'll make for the, the batch. So instead, of, our original recipe had 300 grams of beef ground. But our batch has to have this amount, 2,137.54 grams, you know, to be exact. Here you've got the, the calories for this, this amount and the gram weight. And the, although it's the same here, um, when you're dealing with cups or teaspoons or some other unit, it's nice to know what the gram weight is. And you can see here like 7.13 cups of spinach in our batch is actually 213.75 grams, which is, it's easier to, if you're making a batch to deal in grams. Okay, so that's, <clears throat> that's that. And if you scroll down, you've got this summary information here, which is pretty good. Um, here's, here's our targets. So we wanted this amount, and you could see from the parameters, 7,517.23, and we could see that here, let's just enlarge that. And this gets trans, this amount of calories is this amount of food, 7,804.87 grams. So the total batch weight should be this. And here it just shows you what the original calories and original gram weight of that particular recipe is. And here you can see the kilocalories per gram or the grams per kilocalorie um, of this particular recipe in case you, you want to verify calculations and this is the important thing here is the feeding instructions so this is what your pet needs and this is the amount that you're going to have to feed per day in grams and you can see that the batch is good for seven days so we knew that already because we had we had uh, done the calculations before um, knowing ahead of time that this batch is going to be good for seven days because this was a balanced recipe, you'll see that there's no additional nutrients required for the batch or feeding per day. And in the footnote tells you that it's recommended allowance. So this comes into a play if you've got additional nutrients required. So it'll calculate um, either the minimum requirement or the recommended allowance for your pet and, and calculate exactly what you need, if you need anything here at all. So let's go back to the parameters and just change this around a bit. You can feed, you can choose a target weight in kilograms. Let's say nine kilograms I wanted to feed. So we're not doing it for days. We're just, we just want to create a batch. It's nine kilograms. 
Again, we'll use the, the daily requirement of our pet. We're gonna, we wanna feed our pet this amount per day. So let's resubmit it and take a better look at it. So here again, you've got exactly what you should make for the batch. Here's the gram weights and the, the kilocalories. You can look at the original recipe. And in case you need to know the ID number of the food that's stored in the database, you've got it right there. Um, so if we go down here again, we'll see that the target batch weight was nine kilograms. Uh, this gets translated to 9,000 grams and it's this amount of calories. Uh, again, and now you can compare it to the original recipe. This is self-explanatory. And this is the important point here is the daily uh, calorie requirements and how much to feed per pet. So you'll be feeding your pet per day is 1.1 kilograms. It's that amount in grams. And you can see it's translated now. This amount is equal to 8.07 days. That's how long the batch will last if you were to feed this amount per day and you made nine kilograms of this batch. So let's show again. Let's change this a bit. Um, it says to use daily kilocalorie requirement, but but some a lot of people will feed their pet uh, s snacks during the day. So let's say that you, you you want your pet to stay the same weight, and, but and you're feeding him about 100 calories a day uh, from snacks. So what we want to do now is just alter this. So I'm going to choose my own amount. So instead of this 1073, let's switch this to I'm going to feed the pet 900 because I'm because perhaps I feed my pet 900 uh, sorry 100 calories in snacks a day. So I want him you know to maintain the same amount of weight. So um, I just took 100 off here. This is, so I'm I'm switching the amount. So let's resubmit it and see a clearer view. Here it tells you exactly what the batch you should make. Um, and down here, you see we have a new section, and that's the adjusted calorie requirements per pet. So if you were to feed the pet before exactly what he needed, here's what you would feed. And we saw that before the batch would last for 8.07 days. But because we're feeding 100 calories less, you can see that here's the adjusted uh, requir calorie requirements for your pet. The adjusted amount to feed per day in kilograms and translated into grams. And you'll notice that th since we're feeding less per day, the batch is now good for 8.9 days, which is different from here. And of course, you see that since this was um, <coughs> since this was a balanced meal, there's no additional uh, nutrients required. So let's go to the cat, our cat Jade, and I know that that we have all these recipes here. Uh, the cat needs, we have biotin missing, so we'll just be able to demonstrate this. Um, you're going to have to switch this back to use the daily kcals per day. You'll see that that it switches to Jade's uh, amount that Jade needs, which is 237.1 six calories per day and let's just I want to feed that amount so let's say that we want to make a we want to make two a two kilogram batch for Jade so that should last Jade a while and let's submit it and we'll just enlarge this so you can see here the original amount we had beef ground uh, 20 grams in the original recipe but in the batch amount we need 175.98 grams so this is actually kind of a, it's pretty exact um, you've got cups teaspoons level scoops that type of thing and it's all translated into grams here it makes it easier to create batches you should be using a good uh, kitchen scale for this if you're going to make the batch okay so and here the only thing I want to, I've gone through all this before. We, we've got two, two kilograms we wanted to make. It's translated. This is how many calories it is. Um, well, we didn't adjust the amount. We're just feeding the, our pet 
you exactly what our pet needs. So you feed this 182.85 grams of this batch food that you've made, and it's it's going to last for 10.94 days. So it's, that's 11 days. And here you can see that we, we knew already that there would be biotin missing. So here's the additional amount. For this entire batch, you need 48.64 micrograms of, of biotin and per day feeding just exactly what your pet needs, you need 4.45 micrograms of biotin in order to make this, this particular recipe complete. So that's it. Now, if you have any questions about uh, this report or any um, suggestions, enhancements, that type of thing, uh, please either email us or ask, ask us in our forums. Thank you very much. Bye.